Baba Roma's returned to winning ways. That's right, over at Ewood Park to make it five successive wins uh, at home, of course. Making a bit of a fortress at Ewood Park. Can we continue that run heading into this week? We're going to take a look at that and more and next. That's right, folks. Back with another match review. Looking back at Blab and Rover's latest match. That's right. The result against Huddersfield Town. And we'll get to that. It just one second. If you knew where you've been, smash your subscribe and bang up to all things Rovers related, Championship related, World Cup related. All here under one roof skin. Of course, big shout out to Blue Rose Capital. If you're new, subscribe. Of course, thanks very much for supporting the channel behind the scenes. Uh, we are getting excited. Of course, looking forward to the World Cup. But right here, right now, it's all about Rovers. And right now, we are currently sitting in the top two spots. But that could all change mid week we'll take a look at it all of it in a second of course big shout out again to the vips they are the patrons as well but anyway let's jump in the deep end and take a look at what we're talking about we're talking about this that's right one nil winners over Huddersfield town good discretion me in the game uh that was very very nervy in the end park the bus fc rovers uh scraping away with a one nil win diaz with the goal good goal as well i think pickering gets the assist lovely ball uh diaz hammering on home uh, and if you're quick you might even see the goal over on twitter of course i've got it over there for all your leisure uh, but anyway look at the stats that's right here. Uh, 12 shots for Rovers today, believe it or not. It didn't feel like it. It felt like we were definitely in the back last 20 minutes playing uh, Mourinho FC, Park of Us FC. Uh, and, and we were lucky to, to hold on. For, for Fortunately, though, Huddersfield left their shooting boots back at Huddersfield, back at the McAlpine. Um, the Kirklees, John Smith Stadium. They left their shoot boots there. Uh, but they did have eight shots, of course, four of them off target. Three of them were saved. They had four corners as well. Um, and, of course, uh, fouled 16 times. We had Well, they fouled off 16 times. We had 16 free kicks as well. We're over, though, 59% possession. Uh, 12 shots, of course. Three of them off target. Three of them were saved. Uh, five corners as well. And we were fouled 16 times. But the goal, only goal of the day uh, was Big Bad Boy Broughton Diaz scoring the 35th minute to go into halftime with a 1-0 lead. Uh, that second goal that we were begging for, we were screaming out for, never came, uh, did it. Let's take a look at the teams then, of course, Rovers, with this team, Kaminsky between the sticks. Uh, we had Ayala and Hyam in a back four there, alongside Pickering and Britain uh, to make a very, very tasty back four. Uh, moving into midfield, Travis and Morton, uh, the defensive midfielders there, crunching tackles, passing, keeping Rovers moving. Then we had Hedges on the right, we had Diaz on the left, Smodic, and then Sam the man, Gallagher up top. We had a bit of a, a, a shambolic stuff uh, today, not really uh, is better, is better display but uh, we'll take it as it comes. As for the substitutions, we did see the likes of Scotty Wharton, Tyree Stone and Jack Vale coming on uh, to little or no effect, uh, really. I think Scotty Wharton came in to, to make it uh, park the bus, help us defend uh, uh, to the hilt. Uh, as for the opposition, we had uh, Lee Nichols between the sticks, El Capitano, uh, Boyle at the back there, Hillich as well, Ruffles and Spencer uh, back for Kamara Kasamu, Thomas, Holmes, Rodoni and Ward up top. As for the substitutions, we saw Di Diara coming on and Jordan Rose. Uh, again, not no, to little or no effect once again. Uh, let's take a look at, of course, the shots then, shall we? Of course, Rovers represented by the orange. Huddersfield represented by the blue. Uh, there seems to be the key man for Huddersfield. Holmes and Rodoni both had three attempts. Hit each other an effort, so did Diara. As the Rovers scattered all over the place. Diaz with a couple, or three of them, in fact. Gallio on. Vale did have a, ch a chance as well. Smolich, a couple of efforts by uh, Morton, Travis, Haya Mayala, and even Britain were in on the action. And, of course, as you see, a lot of the efforts were inside the box. Great to see. Uh, but a few, four long-range cookies. As you can see, seven 97 touches for Rovers, uh, 595 passes compared to the 565 touches to the 410 uh, passes for Huddersfield. Of course, the stats are all represented by the graphs here in the, in the, in the, in the chart. So take from that one what you will. Uh, any woodwork hit? No, no woodwork was hit. Let's take a look at, of course, the starting levers as represented by, of course, their uh, uh, the formations here. Four two three ones, uh, both home and away here. A man of the match given to do -do 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 -do. Uh, time on with a seven point five. It looks like seven point six for Harry Pickering. He does seem to be the the man of the the moment. Uh, Hedges with a seven point five. Of course, never say die attitude as well. As for the opposition, Hedich with a seven point one. Boy with a seven point two as uh, they uh, played a defensive keep ball at the back. And uh, as you see from this graphic as well, all where all the action took place, the cards, three yellow cards dished out uh, and the substitutions all taking place in the second half. So Rovers were uh, were good. We're decent uh, defensively. We were we were throwing our bodies on the line again. It seems to be the way in, in a lot of these home games or at least these tight one near wins. Uh, we get the goal. We seem to do OK, but uh, I don't know how long that's going to last, especially when we know what's coming around the corner uh, with some uh, uh, much more uh, intense firepower. 
uh, and free scoring ability. We're going to have to be much better on our, our behaviour uh, next weekend. Of course, we do have a, a, a sidebar as well, a distraction. That is, of course, the Catamaran Cup action with West Ham. That's to look forward to. And hopefully a lot of these guys will get the break this week. And, of course, look forward to, to, to maybe a, a, a long rested week of training, maybe looking at set pieces, uh, something at corners as well uh, for uh, for next week, where they seem to be uh, proving to be much successful for, for our opponents uh, 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 you know, Sheffield United, who, 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 of course, came out on tops against Burnley, uh, 5-2. Let's take a look at the heat maps, then, Rovers are represented by this graphic here. Of course, this is uh, the goalkeeping area, of course, preferring the left to the right. A lot of uh, heat uh, in the defensive third going for a lot of the ball, a lot of the, the possession was kept in this area. As for Huddersfield, of course, coming from this end to this end, uh, preferring the left to the right as well. Again, keep it very, very busy, or the defence uh, seemed to be much... Uh, 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 a lot of the possession for them down here, which is not where you want it. And that kind of is reflected here by this uh, this graphic as well. Moving forward. Actually, let's take a little look then what uh, the man, the myth, the legend, JDT, had to say about the game. Here he is with his thoughts and wisdom about the game. And, of course, uh, looking forward perhaps to midweek and beyond. I'm, I am delighted. It was a, it was a, it was a great result. Uh, I think... We were a little disappointed when we came in at halftime, um, still by leading 1-0, but we were disappointed, maybe we could have done a little bit better. But we know how difficult it would be that we needed to be patient to create chances because we, play against the, we played against a wall. Uh, we spoke about a couple of solutions at halftime. I think we second half we came out very strong, created chances immediately. Uh, we got a goal disallowed. It. We should probably have killed that game. Uh, and in the end, when you are only leading 1-0, it could be tough, and it was tough the last period. But a big credit to 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 the to the players and the fans because uh, that spirit that they have and the togetherness and the defending and another clean sheet is is great to see. It's always a danger that one goal lead, isn't it? When you get late on in games. Yeah, it is. It is, and, and we we of course we deserve to win this game, but we should the game should have been killed before. And 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 uh, if you complain about something, uh, yeah, this will probably getting a goal, one or two more goals, because then we can have an easy afternoon uh, and celebrate our anniversary as well, and then celebrate our our tradition and history of this great club. It was a great goal, wasn't it? The the, the way it was created, a lovely ball from Harry Pickering, and and when Ben's in that position, you can't seem to score, don't you? Yeah, it was a brilliant pass for for Harry, and 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 a great run, a great great movement, good finishing. Uh, so, so in that way, I think that was his ninth goal. Uh, so, and he could probably have had a hat trick today if you look at the situation and the chances he had. But uh, I'm very delighted, and, and of course, especially getting back on our feet after after Coventry. Uh, so, big credit to to this young squad. How pleased are you potentially that Ben is one league game away now from a little bit of a break because he, <laughs> he is working so hard, isn't he? That he looks like at the end of games that he is. Pretty much empty. Yeah, but I think everybody's working hard in this period. There's a lot of games and very intense, but yeah, we should enjoy it because football is the best in the world. Yeah, then we need to run a little bit more, no problem. And then you can get tired, then you can have a good sleep, and he can have a rest tomorrow, and then he's ready to go again. To win 12 out of 20, he must be enjoying it. Yeah, it's, it's of course, it's, it's great to win games, and it's great to, to, to see us improvement on some things. Uh, uh, we're working hard uh, every day, every player and the staff members are working extremely hard to, to, to become better. Largely on when you've had a setback with a defeat, you've come back and won. Just what does that tell us about the character of, of your players? Other boys have a great team spirit. The togetherness and, and togetherness with the fans. You, you saw that, you heard that today as well. is uh, is incredible. It's nice to be part of uh, and I'm proud of those, those players. Ryan Hedges went off today. Was that enforced on you has he got another injury no 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 to be honest uh, playing sam and and ryan of course uh, they have done a great job over a long period but they played without that many trainings in the league so they were tired very tired do you look at that with wednesday in mind now and think that it's going to be a much changed team to go to west ham yeah we would change the team we give everybody the opportunity uh, to to to, to get minutes and then there will be players who get minutes tomorrow so they're also preparing for the game on, on, on Wednesday and I will for sure make a lot of changes yeah. So is the, the priority very much Burnley next Sunday rather than West Ham? No, the priority is to have a good performance against West Ham.
Okay. So other pay players can get the opportunity to, to catch my eye and do a good job for rowers. You've got a few of them, haven't you, who will be really keen to, to show you what they're about. Yeah, and there's football about, huh? Uh, there's always opportunities coming in training or in games, so it's about grabbing those opportunities. Uh, and we're looking forward to go to, to, to London here yeah, on Wednesday. Meanwhile, what's been said on social media? Let's take a little look then, shall we? Of course, uh, Robson Green, not that one, but this one. He said, glad we got the win, but really, we need to learn to kill off the game. We won't or we, we uh, won't keep getting away with going deep with 20 minutes to go. Get Getty brings Dolan and Vale on to chase the ball down, but surely Daki would have been had the quality to keep the ball. Uh, they both lost it 90% of the time. Mark FD said, I honestly thought JDT was playing for a draw. The tactical change, taking Sam Gallagher off for Wharton just puts us on the back foot and under far too much pressure. You know, Adam Sudzuki said needs uh, needs to win that uh, to bounce back after Tuesday. Not the prettiest, but we'll take it. And BBD was a classy finish. Not sure how much longer my nerves can take these single goal victories we, uh, where we score and then sit back, though. On to the next big one on the weekend, of course. That's, uh, yeah, he's skipping out on the old uh, uh, League Cup affair. Me, me, my Matthew Mella. Wow, absolutely hanging on to the bottom of the league. We won't get away with that every week. I hope we do, though. Uh, meanwhile, Ben Galarossi Blue said a huge win with, uh, with, uh, with the Dingles. QBR and Watford all losing and Swansea only drawing. JDT's Blue White Army bring on the Dingles. Meanwhile, Coach Steve said happy with the three points, but not sure why JDT uh, thought it was a good idea to get the team sitting back and defending a 1-0 lead for 30 minutes, especially when we were so uh, dominant against uh, Huddersfield. Uh, they were there for the taking. Bit more positivity next time, please, boss. Martin, a.k.a. Southern Roberts, said three points, clean sheet, play like that against Burnley next week and we'll struggle. A better team than Huddersfield take a point from us today, but a win is a win. We move on. Uh, El Scott says, no, it's been said but not enough Britain is levels above Nyambe uh, Salford uh, Rovers also said Pickering is class Gareth Badaby said I was chatting with a Burnley fan who's, who was all big chested out after our last game I said the pressure is getting to them they can't keep scoring in the 100th minute of a game they did it next game and they were all but beaten and now today's ga a defeat should uh, humble them a little bit Harry uh, Scotty said Harry Pickering definitely our most underrated player now struggled a bit at the start of the season but hasn't put uh, in less than a 7-10 for ages. Smodic also in on the action. Three points in front of, a, uh, of my biggest fan. Love it. And we are the Rovers. Mr. Max said, what a finish from Ben Brio today. One of the sweetest passes you'll ever see. Uh, but the control and finish from the big man was first class. Well done, uh, big uh, Ben. That's, of course, the state of play on Twitter. What about the state of play elsewhere in the championship? Let's jump in the deep end and have a little look at it. Of course, here are the, the recaps then. Of course, Reading did lose to Preston. Big win for them. They move into the playoffs, I think. Uh, but of of course, the, the talking point was the early kickoff Saturday. Sheffield United 5 2 winners over Burnley. Meanwhile, Rotherham uh, unfortunately collapsed against North at uh, Norwich there. Borough with a 1 1 draw against Bristol City. QPR did lose to West Brom at home. Uh, Watford also losing at home to Coventry, of course. Big wins for them. Blackpool also losing at home to Luton Town. As winning at home is not for everybody, including Sunderland 1 0 loss there. Mill couldn't even get a win over Hull City with 10 men. Swansea also 2 2 draw against Wigan. And Stoke lost to Birmingham. The only home side beside ourselves winning was Sheffield United this weekend. So good wins. Uh, for Rovers and their Blades. Of course, that's done this to the absolute table. Uh, we are in second spot above Sheffield United and, of course, two points adrift of Burnley playing the same amount of games. Both Burnley and Rovers are in Carabao Cup action this week, midweek uh, with, of course, the, the, the derby uh, just around the corner. Huddersfield are going down at the moment. Five points adrift of uh, Wigan and West Brom, who, of course, uh, West Brom picking up the W. Yeah, they did. Uh, of course, that's back-to-back -back wins now for West Brom as they tried to make their way up the table. Indeed, Coventry as well. Still got three games in hand on a lot of teams. Uh, above them. That's technically nine points, which would put them on 26, 29, 32 points. Could be up as high as fifth, depending on what goes on elsewhere. Speaking of elsewhere, let's take a look at what's going on next weekend. There are some games midweek. Of course, I don't really focus about that, but I'm talking about next weekend. It's Birmingham, Sunday's Friday night kickoff, of course. Then Luton Town against Rotherham, Bristol City against Watford, Preston against Millwall, Coventry against QPR, Huddersfield against Swansea, Wigan against Blackpool, Norwich against uh, Middlesbrough, West Brom Stoke, Hull City against Reading, and then Cardiff up against Sheffield United. Then it is, of course, the game. We've been waiting for all season. Of course, we're going to get a spanking. Yes, we are. An absolute pasting. Of course we are. We're going to be all over toast for, for Burnley, but of course it is. There's freaks. Third more. Six finger freakazoids. The incestians, of course, Burnley up against Blackburn Rovers. And of course, a bit of Lancashire pride on the line. Can we get, of course, a surprise
first victory. We'll have to wait and see. But that's it, guys. That is all I've got for you. Smash your subscribe, smash your thumbs up, smash the little bell. Big week now begins, of course, with the Canada Cup action. Can we surprise, of course, the world of football by taking out West Ham on the road turf? And, of course, can we build on for that uh, when we take on Burnley next coming Sunday? Of course, all that to be coming at you and a lot more stuff. So make sure you smash your subscribe, smash the thumbs up and smash the little bell. We'll be back, of course, with consistent content for this. Hopefully, we'll have a vlog. There's a bit of a question mark about the vlog, um, but uh, we'll see about that. But anyway, till then, guys, smash your subscribe. I'll see you soon. Until then, we are done right now.